Brendan Kennelly was a proud Kerry man, a native of Ballylongford, but he later moved to Dublin and was to spend more than three decades at Trinity College, becoming Professor of Modern Irish Literature and adopting the city as a second home. Cutting through the slack city like a knife through flesh. Brendan Kennelly wrote more than 30 books of poetry as well as novels, plays and works of translation and won many awards including the Irish Pen Award in 2010. If you're right, let it be accessible. If you have something to say, let it be said and let people understand what you have to say. And Brendan was just like that. He, he had a beautiful voice as well. Hiya, Brendan. His frequent appearances on television made his work both popular and accessible to a wide audience. Brendan, do you want to say anything? and included this appearance on The Late Late Show when he was called on to provide words of comfort for a bereaved mother. Though we live in a world that dreams of ending, that always seems about to give in, something that will not acknowledge conclusion insists that we forever begin. Begin. The world of Irish poetry is also mourning Moira Wakanthi, regarded as one of the most important Irish language poets of the last century. She brought a woman's voice and a very unashamed woman's voice and she brought sexuality in, into the Irish language and into contemporary Irish poetry. First published in 1956, she was a scholar, a diplomat and a hugely influential writer, her work drawing on her great love for the Gaeltacht and the Irish language. Ireland today lost two of its most popular poets, their words appreciated by generations.